as part of the 72 acre, 3 million square foot project we're working on that we call the East Campus Project, we are building a, a central utility plant, which is, is common for projects of this size. But the angle Microsoft is taking in this case is it's going to be a thermal energy center. The TEC will provide utilities, so heating and cooling, as well as emergency power and fire suppression water to all of the buildings it serves. And in this case, uh, at the Microsoft project, it's going to be 18 buildings and the garage. So it's a, it serves a huge amount of space. What's different about our thermal energy center from what's what we've traditionally built on campus is traditionally each building would have its own centralized components and machinery to condition the space. It's primarily based off boilers, which are carbon generating uh, machinery. So our tech is much more efficient and aligns with our company strategy to be carbon free by the year 2030. One of the things that was really crucial to us as we were thinking about a central utility plant was we can have a central utility plant, but we can't have gas. Uh, and so as we thought through that um, and had how we would deliver an all-electric de design, that's really where the GOLs became so compelling. So the GOLs, we have 875 uh, in our model. They're dug 550 feet deep. Um, that's equivalent to about 220 miles of uh, pipe, horizontal and vertical piping. So um, pretty extensive geo well field. Such that it works is uh, the earth acts as kind of a battery charger. We send cold water through these pipes that go deep into the ground. And uh, this is the natural temperature of the underground Soil heats the water and comes back warm, and then we have a series of heat recovery chillers that harness that heated water, will store it in heated thermal tanks to be used when we need it. Additionally, our heat recovery chillers have the capacity to extract heat from the water that it receives, and it chills it, and we, we also store the chilled water to be used um, uh, just at the right moment, just when the buildings need it. This design, an all-electric um, design, which is using geothermal wells, um, will actually enable us to reduce energy consumption by over 50% compared to a typical utility plant by centralizing our heating and cooling into one location rather than having individual units on each building. That alone will allow us to save a 30% energy usage um, by having this centralized approach. We're particularly proud of the efficiency gains that we've been able to accomplish in this building. The heat that's generated from the Thermal Energy Center is about equivalent to, to the same amount of heat that 250 residential homes will uh, produce or consume in a given year. Building a thermal energy center like this will also provide enough electricity savings to power over a thousand homes for a year. Annual water savings will total over 8 million gallons, enough water to fill over a dozen Olympic-sized swimming pools. And in regards to reducing carbon, the annual savings generated by the tech will be the equivalent of removing about a thousand passenger cars from the road. So uh, pretty amazing stuff that's going on in this one building on our campus. Another interesting feature of the building was really the decision to make it um, in the center of campus and, and visible to all of our employees. So as customers and our employees um, come to the building, how do they learn about the GOLs that are under the soccer field and the, um, the machines inside that are heating and cooling the building. So we really wanted to take the opportunity to help educate and inspire all of the people on campus to see these unique features of the campus. Um, and that's uh, a, a big part of the design. It's celebrating this technology. It's celebrating the building for what it does, which is produce these utilities for heating, cooling, and life safety. So it's, it's, it's great for the environment. It's great for Microsoft's customers and employees. And it's a, a showcase for emerging technology that really will make a difference.